Today, I'm super excited to show you the Tory Burch Outlet catalog for fall 2022. So here are the text to shop directory for the different outlets for Tory Burch. So you can get the stuff in this catalog by going to the outlets in person or texting these phone numbers. Let's jump into the handbags that are available at the Tory Burch Outlet this fall. So I'm super excited to start with the Britain. It's this amazing collection for just for the outlet. The leather is super, super soft and I love like the kind of cut out logo is super fun. So it looks like the Britain is coming in black, moose, new ivory, which are these three colors here and then a print bag color, um, floral convertible crossbody. This is a really nice bag. I've seen it in person and it's really nice. And this this brown color that's called Moose is, is actually really awesome and matches a lot of the boutique colors. So they're also, they just came out with these two new colors. Um, there's a patent leather color, Yuzu, or use yeah yuzu um and this kind of like yellow color on the left and then on the right there's icicle and then that one's going to be in a textured convertible crossbody i'm really excited about this blue icicle color it looks really awesome so the next bag is this britain adjustable shoulder bag um, with the cutout as well like the other ones and then this one comes in pebbled leather and calf leather, black mousse, and that cold brew printed. I think we might be able to see that. I really like these straps. They like remind me very much of like Chanel look. They just make the bag look super, super good. The price points, um, obviously before uh, any percentage goes off are $4.99 and $5.98. So these are definitely higher end than the previous two bags. So on here, it's two, it's a top flap magnetic closure and two interior pockets and one exterior slip pocket. So that's probably like a good pocket for your phone on the back, which is really cool. Next, we have the small Britain adjustable shoulder bag. Um, this one's 450, you know, before any percentage is off in the outlet. This is basically like the smaller version of the medium bag. It has that cutout double logo made in that really soft leather that the Britain is kind of known for. It's that pebbled leather, super, super soft. Um, and then you, the strap can be worn double or left like long. Um, I think it can actually be, when I go to the store, I want to check out and see how long it actually is and if it can be worn crossbody. I do not recall in general, um, but I think it would be awesome if you could. It has magnetic closure, um, the top flap, uh, two interior pockets, and one exterior slip pocket, which is awesome for your phone. Okay, this is the small adjustable shoulder bag, the same one as the last one, but this actually shows that print that, what is it called, new cream slash cold brew. Really pretty. I really love the flowers. They're so gorgeous. Oh, wow. I really like them. It looks like brown black in there. And that makes sense that with cold brew, usually the flowers are really nice. And I think this is a really great bag. Okay. So this one is the smaller. Okay. This is the same bag and it's coming in leather and shrunk, shrunken textured leather. And that's the mazarine, which is this like blue color, kind of looks like a navy. And then that icicle again, and that one is shrunken textured leather. I'm interested to see what that is. So next they have this like scallop one and they're calling it Li Little Nougat. It's kind of fun name, calf leather. I don't know if this one's pebbled, but this has silver stud embellishments handcrafted around the perimeter. Really pretty uh, silver embellishments, kind of like yellowish white cream color it looks like i guess i will have to see it in person but it comes in the small and the medium i feel like i would like this a little bit better if it had gold but that's just me i'm really into gold hardware lately um, let me know in the comments if you're like more into the gold or the silver hardware i feel like a lot of times with the outlets they do a lot of silver with like the lighter cream colors and I feel like they need to like try out and do more gold with it. So next up we are moving on to the top handle and I've actually seen this one in person. Um, I'm going to add the clip if I can. I've seen the one in mousse color. It's really beautiful. I really love that strap a lot and it, it's like you can take it 
on and off, which is really cool. Um, so they have black mousse and new cream cold brew, which is like that flower print that we were just looking at. Also, if you want to check out the last time I was at the the outlet, you can check it out here. I'm going to link to it. So here we have the mini top handles in that little nougat color and the mazarine, which is that blue patent leather. With these beautiful straps. I really like these straps a lot. They're gorgeous. And the blue looks really nice. Next up, we have this beautiful Britain bag that's in the black mousse new ivory and then that printed cold brew with the flowers. This one has like that top satchel handle also in the pebbled leather and calf leather I guess depending on which bag okay and then it has this I think this crossbody strap here that you can also either use it with a crossbody strap or you can use it with the handle and then the crossbody strap is adjustable then there's a sensor zip compartment and then a one interior slip pocket super cool this is just a really nice like kind of almost worky bag this one is the micro satchel um that comes in black mousse and then the new cream so pretty i really love this this is just oh i love that bag um the new cream is really cool i'm really into it so the micro satchel is like a mini version of the last one let me see it has a zip compartment and then it has two interior pockets with a snap closure i really like that it has the zipper compartments it's really cool and then there's also a crossbody adjustable strap really appreciate that so these are coming in like some really basic colors and i feel like that fall bag is really cool and then okay here are some more okay colors and the same like the micro satchel patent leather in mar mazarine and yuzu so that if we finally get to see that yuzu color like more of it rather than like a little square really really stinking cute um sensor zip compartment it's the same as the last one but different colors and then these are patent leathers so then the next britain bag in the catalog is this really cool uh one that's the chain wallet and i definitely checked this out while i was in the store last time and this one's coming in pebbled leather in the what is it the mousse and the black and mousse and then cold brew which looks a little bit different on this one i'm really interested to see this one in person the chain wallet i really like them they're super soft super comfy i guess these chain wallets also are coming in the icicle in the shrunken textured leather and then patent leather yuzu and i like that they're it looks like they're doing gold in both the chain wallet has that cut out brass detail that all of the britons have and then i really like this it has the removable chain so you can use it as like a wallet or it can be used kind of as like a shoulder bag so when i was looking at it in the store last time I was thinking about using it as like a, a bag for a wedding I ended up getting I think the Thea instead but I was definitely looking at the the Britain as a possible kind of like wallet thing that I could put my phone in uh, to bring to a wedding so that it like fits all of my wallet stuff maybe a lipstick and some and my phone as well it's a really great little bag and then obviously if you want to like have the strap you can bring the strap with you or just like hold it as a clutch. So they're showing it again here with the like light nougat and then the silver embellishments around the edge. Next up we have the Britain textured small saddle bag and it looks like that's coming in nougat like the one we just saw an icicle it's a top flap uh, magnetic closure and then adjustable leather strap which can be worn doubled or left long i think i saw these in person i'm not 100 percent sure but i really like the saddlebag with that the flap over it it's kind of more casual to me yay we're getting to the willa bags i'm so excited so the willa bags actually just started doing smooth leather rather than just the shiny leather that they were using before this is the willa soft shoulder bag it's oversized it's in this beautiful roasted almond or clarinet which is kind of like a burgundy color magnetic closure the flap and exterior back slip pocket and interior zip pocket amazing so excited to see this in person I, i'm gonna die over this bag i know it because i fell in love with willa until i actually saw saw the like shiny leather and i'm just not into the shiny leather but this soft leather smooth leather uh, with the quilting, I think it's going to be amazing. I'm very excited. And this might end up being like my favorite bag group. 
So here's the glazed goat leather that they had. So this is the one that I just am not a huge fan of. This is the black volcanic stone. This is the same as the last one, the Willa shoulder bag, but with the glazed leather. I also don't like love this vo volcanic stone. I can't say it. I don't know why. Anyway, let's move on to these other ones. So we've got the black roasted almond and beeswax. So I really like this matte PU, which I guess means it's not real leather, but I love, 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 love this matte leather bag, faux leather bag or whatever. And then of course the small shoulder bag is super cute for, these are actually all the small shoulder bags. So these are the like same as the other ones, but a little bit smaller. Exterior back slip pocket, interior zip pocket, yay, and magnetic closure. That's awesome. Okay. Here's another version of it in the Leonese. I'm not sure how to say that one. Printed pebble leather. I really like the floral. I don't know if it like works necessarily for fall, but whatever. I feel like I need to see it in person to like actually have an opinion because this picture is not really doing it justice. Next one is the patchwork small shoulder bag and the chain wallet. This is kind of interesting. I'll, again, I really need to see this in person because I, I really can't tell from the photos like how these colors like are they something that's going to match my wardrobe is that purple the very peri for the year i'm curious Ooh, this one looks really cool and it's the smooth leather meaning it's not glazed yay and it has this beautiful embellishment um and it's gold hardware adjustable chain cross strap cross body strap leather shoulder guards for comfort okay that's awesome too because i hate when the metal digs into my shoulder exterior slip pocket yay i love that Oh, I'm gonna want everything this year. Okay, next up we have this mini top handle in the Willa. It comes in the glazed leather in black and volcanic stone, but it's the glazed leather and I have to see it in person if I'm gonna like it. But maybe, maybe this black one, hmm, I don't know. Uh, the PU one in the mini top handle, meaning it like the matte, it's not real leather, but it has magnetic closure and exterior slip pocket, which is always like my favorite thing. Um, yeah, I'm excited to like see this in person to see how big it is. Okay, next up we have the Willa Soft Quilt Mini Top Handle. Interesting. Yeah, so this one I think is the same as the last one. This one's coming only in clarinet, but it shows it. Picture on the left. Yeah, it says clarinet only, but I think it's also coming in that pink color as well. So fingers crossed because it's really cute. And I like the metal that it's pink too, pink metal. And it looks like the clarinet has the clarinet metal also, which is really cool. Okay, next up we have these bucket bags, the mini bucket bags. I gotta see how big these are in person. Um, let me see. They have black volcanic stone clarinet and beeswax. Okay, now we know what beeswax is. It's kind of mustardy color. What? That, so that's beeswax. Removable chain. Wonder if we can use that as a crossbody. But okay, I wonder which ones are the smooth leather out of these. Oh, okay, I guess it is clarinet and beeswax based on the photo. Next, we have this blue mini bucket bag in the smooth leather, blue stone. Very, very cool. Similar to the one we saw earlier. This picture is terrible. I can't wait to see it in person, see what it looks like. And I think the chain will probably be gold as well, which is really cool. Um, and yeah basically I'm interested to see the actual like uh, hardware that closes the bag because the one at the regular boutique is so cool and it says three-piece double T logo with Lux gold hardware so I'm interested to see if it's similar to the one at the boutique which is so cool yay we're getting a little bit of a closer look at the patchwork colors I still am not 100% sure on that purple but it kind of now looks like periwinkle to me um, I'm not sure. Are you guys into these like patchwork bags? I know this is like kind of the Y2K patchwork situation. Um, it's cool-ish. I don't know. I don't know if I like it. Um, here's another Willow bag uh, with that line say floral. This one is the mini top handle. Again, I'm curious to know how big this one is. It looks bigger than the other mini top handles for the, the Emerson and the Britons. So I'm curious. Next up, we have this Willow tote. Let's see, this one's black and volcanic stone. Again, this is the glazed leather, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it. We'll see in person. Um, 
So we'll see. Okay, maybe the logo is, the three-piece logo is that, the front logo. I'm curious to know. I got to ask the sales associate what that is. Here's a matte tote, a matte black tote. I wonder if that one is coming with matte black hardware. It shows gold here, but I don't know if, based on like the other stuff. Um, let's see. And then also clarinet. Um, and then magnetic closure, interior slip pocket back wall interior zip pocket okay front and back exterior pockets okay I mean this might be really cool for like a work bag so definitely excited to see this in person the mat bag would be really cool and something the price is high though it's $678 so even with the discount it's still going to be really expensive um I don't know okay let's move back down a price bracket bracket um this one is a willa chain wallet which is really cute i'm excited to see the matte one in person because it, it's going to be really cool i think this has magnetic closure um one zipper pocket on the inside but no exterior pocket boo um here they have it also in that roasted almond color and the lyonnaise butchering this floral um but I think it could be really cute. I just need to see it in person to give it like a full, um, yeah, go from day to night. That would be cool. And you could use it as a clutch. I think the shoulder guard also, ooh, uh, quilted belt bag in smooth le leather, roasted almond. Ooh, I might like this. Ooh, and then the one right next to it, the shoulder bag. Oh, I li I think I love everything in the roasted almonds, smooth leather. Again, Willa, I think, is like now becoming my favorite now that they've decided to do not just glazed leather, but smooth leather. Um, yeah, and then the fact that they're kind of matching the the hardware to the, the actual bags. And as long as it doesn't like get you know, like flake off or anything. I'm totally into that. The belt bag sounds really cool. And then maybe you could use that as a clutch too. Ooh, and then these backpacks. Ooh, yes. And the roasted almond smooth leather. I think they made a really great decision here to do this smooth leather. I'm, I'm going to hammer it into the ground. I mean, Willow was really disappointing when I first like looked at it because of this, that shiny leather. Okay, next up, we're moving on to the Emerson, which I absolutely love with the Safino leather, Saffiano leather. It says soft Saffiano leather. If you've ever touched Saffiano leather, it's not, it's not soft, but maybe, maybe this is new leather. This is the first time I've actually seen it called soft Saffiano leather. So I'm interested if there's actually been a change or if it's just straight up Saffiano leather now. Okay, this is an awesome work bag. It comes in Tory Navy the mousse camel color, black and new ivory. Awesome bag. Top zip closure, two interior pockets. It's amazing and it'll fit your laptop or tablet and perfect for worker students. Awesome bag. Highly recommend. Okay, next up we have the smaller version of this tote in the Emerson. It has soft Saffiano leather and then it has that crossbody strap that's removable and adjustable, which is really cool. Comes in the Tory Navy Moose Black and Gray Heron. Interested. Is that that beigey tannish color? That's kind of cool. Top zip closure and interior pocket. Wonder what fits in this one. I, I'm not sure. I haven't seen it in person. So next up, large double zip tote. Comes in the same colors as the last one, except it has the new ivory also. It has center organizer pockets and center magnetic closure. Okay, next up we have the Emerson flap adjustable shoulder bag. Comes in Tory Navy Moose Black and Gray Heron in the Saffiano leather. This one doesn't say soft, so I don't know if there's a difference. Two interior compartments, back interior zip pocket, but no exterior pocket. Okay, it's a shoulder bag. It's adjustable shoulder to crossbody, which is really cool too. Okay, and this is the same thing, but different colors. We have a Tory red in patent leather, a pebbles leather block print ditzy, so like a floral, small ditzy print. Okay, and then we have this blue suede color, which they're not showing. None of these except for the little squares. Okay, next they're showing like this color blocked leather strap with the Emerson crossbody. Um, in new cream and Tory red. The Tory red is the patent leather. Um, it stinks that they're not really showing it, but maybe the new cream's coming with that fun blue and yellow strap. Okay, this is the other crossbody without that funky strap. It's soft Saffiano leather, 
Tory navy, moose, black, and gray heron. This is showing more the gray heron as an actual gray color, so that's interesting. Okay, let's move on to the zip shoulder bag. This looks really cool and kind of in for right now. And coming in island palm, which is that yellow color, moose, and black. Um, interior slip pocket and zip closure, top zip closure. I don't think I've seen this shape from them before, but now we have it in the patent Tory red leather. And you can kind of see how shiny it is in the picture. And then the suede color um, and this blue, we can see it better here. It's kind of exciting. This kind of very, very kind of up-to-date shape is really fun to see. Okay, and now we're going to see the Ditsy print. So this is the uh, printed pebbled leather block Ditsy print. So I don't. it says it's pebbled leather, so that's not the Safiano. So it's probably going to feel a little bit different than the other bags. But it seems like they're trying out uh, different leathers with the different Emersons. Okay, here we go. The sl swing back, swing pack. Can't speak today. Um, this is kind of cool looking with those fun straps. And then we have the new cream with that blue and yellow strap. And then we have it in the moose or black. Okay, and also it's showing here the bucket bag um, for the Emerson in the new cream, soft Saviano, and then patent leather clutch bronze. I don't know if this is right or not. I don't know if that was a misprint. I'm interested. Okay, next up we have this double zip tote that's in this like ditzy print, I think, and like more kind of like a scarf print almost. A block print ditzy, yeah. Uh, center organizing pockets and center magnetic closure and printed pebble leather. This looks really cool. i um, excited to see this in person. Um, and then these like this ditzy print actually kind of looks more fall than I expected. Um, and then we have the Emerson top handle crossbody, um, two interior credit card slots. Um, it's coming in Island Palm soft Safiana leather. And then it's showing black here, but it also showing, it's saying patent leather clutch bronze. Interesting. Um, and then the Emerson patent chain wallet. So the Tory red, that's cool. And then the suede chain wallet and then the ditzy chain wallet. That's really, these are all really fun colors. I'm excited. I feel like for Christmas time, that patent leather would be really fun. Um, I've also seen this one really in person, the soft Safiano leather, uh, Tory Navy moves and black, two bifold pockets and eight card slots. Um, and then it comes with a one zipper compartment Okay, we're moving on to the Blake, which is in calfskin. And this one is the Blake small tote and the Blake tote next to each other. I feel like they're both awesome work bags. It's a little bit more casual than the Emerson bags, um, but they're really beautiful, like camel color. And they're, I think it's a mix of, at least on the Blake tote, it's a mix between calfskin and I think it's, um, what is it called? A suede on the side if you can see kind of on the side of it you can see that um, and then there's a detachable interior pocket to keep valuables secure and then for the smaller tote there's a removable adjustable crossbody strap it's kind of cool okay here's some more colors in the the totes um, we have okay so we have Tory red tiramisu new which I guess is that print, I think. Um, maybe. I'm not sure. I have to, I don't know if that's two different colors or if there's like several other colors in there. Okay, so we have Ivory, which is slash Devon Sand. Uh, Cortado, Pink Moon, Black slash Devon Sand. Tory Red slash Tiramisu and Retro. Okay, I really don't know a ton about the Blakes. I'm not sure like what these different colors mean but next time in the store I'm definitely gonna like dive in and try to figure out what's going on with these and how big this actual bag is because it doesn't in this photo to me it looks like the Emerson on the left but maybe it is a different bag I'm not sure okay I'm totally into these Blakes though this canvas jumbo tote looks awesome and looks very similar looks better to me actually than some of the boutique ones really like it and then the small tote is super cute it reminds me of the Ella's um really love this the two-tone canvas natural and tory red um interior compartment it's basically just the one center and then like 
either a zip pocket or a slip pocket, depending. Um, I just think they're really cool. Um, I'm not sure if they're like fall bags, but I really like them. Here's the Blake canvas bucket bag. Again, I absolutely like love this look. This one's showing as, okay, natural Tory red. So I'm not sure exactly where the Tory red is on the bag, but I can't see it right now, but I'm excited about, excited about this. Okay, next up we have the Blake mini shoppers. These mini shoppers are super cute and like very tiny, but you know, just like fits your phone and like a couple other things, like small things. Um, they have the top handle and then they have that shoulder uh, strap that you can wear over the shoulder um, and that's adjustable. And depending on how tiny, if you're petite, you might be able to wear it as a crossbody. Um, next up, we have the Blake double zip crossbody. Looks really cool and super casual. And it's coming in this like retro batik. Uh, prints, which I think I don't much sure if I'm saying that right, but I know that Batik is like a, a kind of print, um, but I'm just not that familiar on how to pronounce it. But these look really cool. Um, they have interior card slots on the back and then full leather adjustable and removable strap. So you can use them like as a clutch or like something to throw inside of a bigger bag, which is really cool. Um, doesn't have, does it have the price point? Oh, two. $2.98 for the regular one and then for like the fancier printed one it's $3.48 so I mean these are kind of cool um where you like keep all of your important stuff inside them and then put them in your like larger tote bag like one of the other uh Blake bags or the Emerson bag okay now we're moving on to the Ella which is actually a boutique bag but they do more Ella type stuff in the outlet too um the Ella and Ella nylon bag. It's 100% recycled yarn and comes in this Geo logo print. And then the Ella nylon tote, it's just the, the logo is a little bit smaller on this Ella on like the, on the Ella's in the outlet, um, which is kind of a little bit more classy in my opinion. Okay, next up is the Ella, they don't say Ella here, but they're nylon sling, swing pack. It's kind of a it kind of reminds me of Prada. It's 100% recycled yarn, um, zip closure. This one I think I've seen before, and it's coming in that Geo print that we saw earlier, and then this brilliant red. It's really like beautiful bag. Okay, and then they're also doing this nylon web convertible crossbody in the brilliant red, and then that retro print that we saw earlier. Um, the convertible crossbody means that you can take the strap off and do use a different strap if you want to add like a really fun strap to it. I think you can really do that with these bags, uh, especially like the black one here. Next up, we have this belt bag um, in brilliant red and then that geo logo uh, crimson and navy print. Um, it's really cool. I like it has two zipper compartments. I feel like this is just super old school, original like belt bag, but that's kind of in right now. And I think if the strap is long enough, you could like wear it on your front rather than around your waist or whatever you feel more comfortable with. But this way you're getting kind of a belt bag look for a really inexpensive price because it says $198 here. But I bet with all the discounts that you can get in the outlet, you could get it for like less than maybe less than 100 possibly. Um, maybe a little like about 100 uh, without taxes, which was really cool for a belt, uh, like a designer belt bag. Yay, this is another favorite of mine, the Thea. Thea leather totes and black moose and clarinet. Also the snake and boss leather multi, you know, this is super on trend right now. It's really cute. And the Theo, Thea is like a really soft leather as well. This one's coming with a double durable top handles and a double tassel that's removable. Also the logo is not metal. It's kind of like either sewn on or kind of embossed. So next up, we have the Thea Web Flap Crossbody in Black Clarinet, Moose, and Pink Moon. Really love this pink color. And then we have that embossed leather um, and a suede and toasted sesame. Um, this is a top snap closure um, and removable uh, leather strap and then fun durable tassels and that you can remove. Also, the straps with these are also removable. So if you wanted to like add a fun little strap to it, um, mix and match straps, you could definitely do that. Or if you wanted to like make the straps longer, use like a, a fancier strap with it or something like that, you could easily do that. 
Okay, next we have the Thea Webb Small Satchel um, coming in all the same colors. And then we also have the Snake Emboss Leather Sand, Sand Drift and Pebbled Leather Clarinet. This is kind of a, like, I don't know what these are called. I guess satchel, that makes sense. Um, but they, they're the mini version of the small satchel. So there's a small satchel and a mini satchel. And then there's zip closure and it comes with a removable tassel as well. Ooh, I really love these. These Thea Webb large shoulder bags um, coming in black moose clarinet and then snake embossed leather. Um, it kind of looks green. I don't know if it's green in person. It has a large shoulder strap with a hidden magnetic closure. And then those tassels, like that's kind of the Thea's thing is to have the tassels. So interior slip and zip pocket on front and back walls, exterior back slip pocket. Yay. These are super fun everyday bags. Really cool. Next up, we have the shoulder Thea flap shoulder bag and coming in black and moose um, and that snake multi leather, which is like the patchwork look. And then the suede looks really cool. So they have an exterior pocket, which is really nice that hopefully can fit a phone. Ooh, I really love these. These new uh, mini backpacks come in a ton of different colors. They look really cool. And then I think that little strap on top is actually removable. It says ideal for students and commuters. I really just like them. If you want to be like hands free, it's really nice. It's a flap and it's magnetic closure, interior slip pocket and zip pocket. And that kind of has that tassel thing that, the, you know, on the front that the Thea is known for. Next, we have this like slouchy, large slouchy Thea shoulder bag, which is very in right now. Interior slip and zipper pocket, this suede color, toasted sesame, which is kind of a looks green to me. I'm not sure if it's going to come up green in person. And even though it's a Thea, it actually has like a metal uh logo on top of it so it's interesting that they decided not to emboss it but it, it looks like the Thea logo next we have one of my favorites is the Thea flat wallet crossbody um, I have this one in like kind of like a white cream color I guess they're not doing that this year they're doing pebbled leather same as I have uh, pink moon black moose and clarinet and then they have that patchwork wallet which is really cool looking super trendy for right now and then that toasted sesame and that kind of it looks like an olive green in this photo actually it looks really pretty I'm excited to see it in person because you can see like on the inside of it so I did an outlet video and about the bags that I got at the outlet so definitely check it out here it's super minimalist um, you can take the strap off and you can actually wear it as a like a clutch bag and also it fits my iPhone uh, 13 I'm able to fit it in there not the giant one but the regular size one next we have the Juliet bags um, I really haven't like I've like seen them in person they're calfskin I really don't know a ton about them but I'd like to like learn a little bit uh, more about them um, there's some top handles um, and mini bags um, these prints are kind of fun kind of more vintage looking than anything I think with the these prints okay this is the mini bag comes in black I don't know why it's showing this light color maybe that was like a last season thing oh and then we have the totes in the geo logo these totally remind me of those Goyard bags they're really cool looking and then we have the geo logo tote in the gray that's a really pretty color thank you guys so much for watching check out my other Tory Burch videos here and stay tuned for when I actually get to the outlet and check out the fall bags in person. Have a great one.